Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Aviation, the mobile simulation channel. Today it's a slightly different video. Today I'm gonna explain to you how to plan a flight using Simbrief. Next video is gonna be using Navigraph. So you go ahead and tap simbrief.com and go for it. So it brings you to this page. Uh, the first thing you wanna do always is login. You can create a free username, so it's completely okay. No, 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 any money to pay. Now that you get here to the home page, you have about some information about Simbrief. Register, so here's where you would create your account. Dispatch, this is what we're gonna be using. Help, if you don't understand something, and support. But we don't want support. Thank you. So in this patch, you have dispatch system my flight plan safe flight save airframes database query fms downloader and account settings you use all of them depending on what you want to do for example you would use account settings if you want to change things but what you would be using the most is my flight plan in your flight plan you here have some buttons you have new flight edit flight my briefing, my flights, my fleet, database, and user guide, and also my account. So you go to new flight, and you will create there your new flight. So let's say our airline is going to be Southwest, flight numbers 1123, for example. We're departing from for lateral, so KFLL, to let's say Los Angeles, KLAX. It automatically generates your route and your alternate then you go to airframe here you have a lot of airplanes from real life configurations but you can create the one from explain with the configurations that say in the settings page of explain so here I've already created mine for the 777-200ER and the 737 800 as well as the Cessna so in this case, we're using the 737-800 from Explain. It calculates some things completely automatically, and it gives you these things. So in your advanced aircraft options, you don't touch anything. In your selections, you check the units. So I recommend pounds because in the aircraft, everything's told in pounds. So I use pounds. You can take contingency fuel and reserve fuel automatically. Reserve fuel is the last fuel that you have, and contingency fuel is also another type of reserve. You can also check if you want ETOPS, which are like the points in which you have to be at a certain distance to an airport in case you had to divert. Here you have your runway analysis, no temps. I recommend having all of them as well as detailed flight plans. Then you have here it tells you your schedule time and route, you don't touch that, but you also can change departure runway and arrival runway depending on the active runway and the winds. Usually it's correct, but if you don't agree with the runway, you can just change it here. So in case we're gonna keep 10 left. It tells you your taxi out and taxi in minutes, if extra fuel you want. In this case, we don't want any extra fuel. You can select passengers, in this case, we're going with full cargo let's say auto cargo and also auto zero fuel weight zero fuel weights yeah pretty intuitive is the way with no fuel more here down you have your route that that you can see first thing this one that says thunder 4 it's a departure then you have some waypoints like thunder jang then for example y280 or yankee 280 it's a it's an airway as well as for example here Juliet 86 or Juliet 50 or Juliet 4 those are all runways and this last one Hollywood 1 is the arrival route down to LAX if you go even more down you see the map of the route so this is the arrival we the departure we're taking we're following all this Till Kalax with this arrival. And so here's where the flight plan ends. You can select here 
generate OFP say yes and when you generate your briefing package you have the information more condensated and you get even more information so it gives you airline flight number aircraft call sign origin destination alternate cruise in this case flight level 320 automatically calculated your date your departure time your air time your block time air time is the time you're gonna spend on the air while block time is the time you're gonna spend since you get out of the gate to when you get in in the gate at the other side of the country it gives you your block fuel which is the total fuel your extra fuel your zero fuel weight and your takeoff weight it also gives you your routing and remarks in this remark section you will sometimes see for example if you told the airplane to have very high weight but it couldn't it's going to appear maximum takeoff weight so that means that it took away cargo from when you told it to because it was just too much and here you get your flight plan just like a real pilot would this is the coolest part you get here overall the flight plan if you want me to explain what this flight plan means uh, please comment below it's very 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 cool and there is everything you need in this flight plan these are the kind of flight plans that real pilots get so some more information you can here print or view the PDF of this flight plan that I told you about this one you can print or view the PDF you also can download the FMS information but that's more for more complex aircraft and last but not least this my flights is very important because here you can save some flights so for example here I've done some of them from from some airports with the 737 the Cessna 172 and I saved them but also you have here your departure uh, dispatch history so if you didn't save it but you wanted to to recover it they're gonna be here and so you also can here sort them by modified by flight number or by airports in my fleet you have your fleet it's pretty intuitive so here I have the 737 the 777 and the Cessna 172 but just the 737 and the 777 are from X-Plane so I just edited them with the information that X-Plane exactly gave and so those are the aircrafts I choose so that's it for SimBrief it's a very 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 good software for planning even if you are with a very complex X-Plane 11 desktop simulator or with a simple X-Plane mobile global it's very cool next video I'm gonna talk about how to use Navigraph and so that's it everybody thank you very much for your time I'm gonna take a nice screenshot here and I'll see you next time bye bye